Hi, I'm Alex and this is Pucks and Paperbacks. Today I have another trans book box unboxing. I will leave my last one up above. Today I'm unboxing the July box and this is my last month as a rep. If you missed my last unboxing, this is a trans owned business and they feature trans artists and trans authors. This is such a fun service and if you would like to buy one, all of the links are down below. If you can't afford it, the next best thing is to support them by following them on social media and also following the artists and authors that are included in the box. My last unboxing will be down below and in the cards if you want to go and watch it. I really had a lot of fun opening that box but I've had this one for quite a while and I've been trying to find the time to film so let's unbox it. Oh, I don't have scissors. That's my first problem. I got it. Okay, here we are. The book is The Many Half-Lived Lives of Sam Sylvester by Maya McGregor. This has autistic rep and non-binary rep and I'm excited. Uh, let's see. Sam Sylvester has long collected stories of half-lived lives of kids who died before they turned 19. Sam was almost one of those kids. Now, as Sam's own 19th birthday approaches, their recent near-death experience haunts them. They're certain they don't have much time left. Still, Sam begins to settle into their new hometown with the help of their neighbor, Shep, who Sam can't stop thinking about. Yet the past keeps roaring back in memories and in the form of a 30-year-old suspicious death. Sam can't resist trying to find out more about the kid who died in Sam's new home and who now seems to guide their investigation. When Sam starts receiving threatening notes, they know they're on the path to uncovering a murderer. But is Sam also approaching their own end? The Many Half-Lived Lives of Sam Sylvester explores healing in the aftermath of trauma and the joy in living a full life. Now, I've seen this around, but I didn't actually know what it was about, and now I'm really excited to read it. So, that's the book, and now for the art. The bookmark that I got last time I've been using a lot, and I'm obsessed with it, so I'm excited to see what I got this time. So here is this, which tells me the author, the book, and the artist. Oh. oh, okay. Look, here's the bookmark. I really love that. That's perfect for Halloween. And a little art print. And usually the art prints relate to the book. And this is just perfect for spooky season. I'm very excited. I might be doing another reading queer horror books or like mystery books so maybe this one will be on my tbr and this beautiful artwork was done by kieran highsmith pronouns they she he they are an animator illustrator and visual development artist their focus is on telling character driven narratives that explore personal choice and change in relationships they graduated from the pacific northwest college of art in may of 2018 and currently reside in oregon the art this month includes a postcard and a bookmark created with Sam Sylvester in mind. So I got the bookmark and what is cool about this subscription box is everybody gets something different. Like last time I got tea and this time we have something completely different. So that is what I really like about this box. And this is the art piece that has Sam on the cover I believe because you can see their bright hair and yeah this is really cool i'll have the artist link down below as well if you want to follow them so that is what i got in the july trans book box if you enjoyed this video feel free to give it a thumbs up it really helps out my channel when you do so and if you are interested in this box check my description for ways you can help support this business and to get a subscription of your own thank you to the founders for asking me to be a rep for the last two months i had a lot of fun and i wish you all the best with your business thank you so much for watching if you stayed until the end let me know in the comments what your most anticipated queer or trans release is for the end of the year. I would love to know or maybe just a release 
that came out in 2022 that you're still looking forward to reading, I would love to know. That is it for me today. I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye.